Choosing a career in the Earth and Space Sciences is not only rewarding from a professional standpoint, it offers limitless opportunities for those who are interested in studying Earth, other planets, and even the furthest reaches of space, past, present, and future. Recent reports show that there will be a shortfall of about 135,000 geoscientists across all employment sectors by 2020. That means graduating geoscience students will have many opportunities to choose from. There are so many opportunities for students away from uh, academia to kind of try their hand at a different career path. There's opportunities in energy companies and government organizations and lots of other industries that I think students should really take advantage of to see what are they best at and how can they contribute their skill set and their research best for a certain organization. You know, I had gone from school to a non-government organization and then to a full-profit corporate organization and it was really amazing to see the similarities between them and also new skills that I had learned. Here at Vaisla, one of our core offerings is instrumentation. Uh, as you can see behind me, we have uh, a production area where we're developing different types of instruments that are going to allow us to measure different parameters related to the atmosphere. What we're seeing in the private sector is a growth in career opportunities. Uh, within the geosciences, there are a number of different types of opportunities, things ranging from engineering to basic research, all the way to software development. So the breadth of opportunity is, is quite large at this point, and what we're going to continue to see is growth in the number of those career opportunities moving forward. The federal agencies employ a lot of geoscientists. Uh, at NSF, obviously, we bring in scientists, geoscientists who help with the grant management programs. Uh, but you think about some of the mission agencies like NOAA and NASA, they have staff scientists who basically help develop the missions to other planets. They help do the weather forecasting, they worry about climate change, uh, they study the atmosphere, they help develop models. And, and I also point out that it's not just the federal um, sector, the, the state and local governments employ a lot of geoscientists as well. When you look at the demographics of the federal workforce in the geosciences, they are very much in that near retirement um, part of the age demographic uh, spectrum. So th there will be jobs. I've been doing research on the climate system for almost 50 years. And for that length of time, I've learned a great deal about how the climate system works. However, at some point I'll step down and there'll be others that replace me. And I think there's great opportunities are in terms of uh, federal opportunities, private sector opportunities, and also in the fields of communication where they transmit this information to the public and policymakers. And I think that uh, the opportunities are almost uh, uh, huge in terms of the number of people that we're going to need. And I would encourage young people to get involved.